There are two sides to the iconic scenic drive, but residents and local business, uh, businessmen say one side is being neglected. KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltazar spoke with a local construction firm who developed a study showing the disparities between the western and eastern part of the road and how city could rejuvenate the eastern part, which is the side they say is being neglected. Jesus. Andy, the people behind this vision for the most part live in East Central El Paso where scenic drive starts. Now for them, this is a passion project that regardless whether they're at the front of it or not, they would hope to see it come to fruition. Cruise through Scenic Drive and you'll notice a stark difference at each end. Royal Park got developed with pathways and, and landscaping and then we saw the parking off of Scenic Drive on the West Slope. And then the entry gate, they did a really nice job but that never got trans transferred over to the, to the east slope. One entryway leading in from the more affluent neighborhoods in west central El Paso, and the other coming up from east central. It's time to kind of polish those gems that, that are here that we have that, that have fallen in, in disarray. Their vision would see the development of infrastructure surrounding walkways, bike lanes, new parking lots, and improved landscaping, a vision even new residents in East Central El Paso would support. So you can see the difference in like the parks around the neighborhood, um, just in general, the houses, the streets, they're, they, they're different, they're a little more bumpy maybe. So I would love to be able to drive around the neighborhood and see newer things, better things. Chris Canales, the city representative for the area where Scenic Drive is located, has looked at the project before. He believes it's an idea with potential and shared his thoughts on the project, sending a statement reading, quote, Scenic Drive is an important tourism destination and the overlook at Murchison Park is a local landmark. So we will definitely consider improvements in the area when looking at future project funding. I'll remind everyone that if the city keeps making policy decisions leading to geographic expansion instead of infill and higher density, then we will have more and more amenities and services to pay for without proportionally equal funding, making these kinds of projects in El Paso's urban core more difficult. Now for Villalobos and the other people behind this project, this fits into a larger vision of revi revitalizing Central Paso as a whole, attracting new people, businesses, and development. From the control room, Jesus Baltasar, KTSM 9 News.